Hello, and welcome to Mitchell Consulting's webinar series for our Mitchell University. <laughs> Today, we're going to be working with in four facts, and we're going to talk about creating user-defined fields. For the purpose of the demo today, we're going to be using in four facts version 7.7. .7. And we're going to talk about a functionality that allows the user to create customized fields for the customer, <laughs> the vendor, and the items. So let's take a look at that and go into, we have facts here, so let's go into accounts receivable. Let's go into file maintenance, and let's look at the customer file maintenance. We're just going to call up a customer and make the screen a little bigger so we can see. And we have something here, a tab called user defined. The user defined allows us to create fields, customize for our specific needs. These fields can then be later on incorporated in various reports and documents. Today we're just going to focus on actually creating the fields. So you can see we can create, again, four fields here that are available in the customer file. This is also true in the vendor file and the items. So you can see right now we have some fields. We have a field here that's a checkbox. You can see it says industrial industrial promotion, and you can see it has a um, prompt. It's a promotional customer. You can see down here the prompt. It says, here we have a date. We have the last ABC analysis, and you can see it's a date. And here we have a status. And on the status, we have a drop down. So let's look at the different types of fields we can create and see the how these are set up. So let's look at this one here first. We're going to click on the configuration button. And again, everything I'm showing you today is controlled with authorizations. <laughs> so you can see down here that you have to have proper authorization to create these codes. You can also set down here a security or a password on the field. So you can see right here we have a few things. We can see we have the screen label, which is what we're going to see here on the screen, industrial promo. We can see the prompt text is customer on industrial promos, promotions. And that shows up down here. We can have a tool tip, which we have promotion customer, and we have our field types. So here we have either text, the date, or numeric. So this is a text field. We set the length of one. We made it force case. And we can also make it required. This one's not required, so we don't have to put anything in. We can set our justification. So we have this as left justifying. And again, there are some um, numeric values as well as valid values. So here we just have a simple yes, no field. We're going to create some of these, so we'll come back to us. And we just wanted to show that. Here, let's look at the configuration here. And here we can see, again, we have a date. So we have the screen label. We have the prompt, the tool tip, and again, we have our date. We have our length, and again, we can have if it's a required. And again, there's no masking bias because this is a date. And here we have one called status. And we can see here if we select this, OK, <laughs> you can see here we have a different type now. We have a, again, a text. But we have now valid. So we can see here we have active, growth, mature, and active. And you can see those are separated by slashes. And we have our field. Let's create a couple and see. Let's go here and actually create a field. We're going to click on here. We're going to give it a screen label. And we're going to say this is a the new new demo. And we're going to put a prompt. So this is going to be the new field for the demo. We can put a tool tip if we want. Let's just call this uh, 
new demo field. And for now, let's do text. And let's give it a length of 50. And let's set it for left justify. OK, we're going to click OK. And you can see now that we have the new demo. You can see down here at the bottom, we have the new field for the demo, which was the prompt we put in. And now we can, again, we have our tooltip, which we see here. And we have 50 characters. So now we can go ahead and just type in. And it's going to, yeah, we have 50 characters. So again, we can continue on <laughs> and so on. <laughs> Let's configure that. Let's delete it. And again, this is all controlled with authorizations down here. So once we set these up, we wouldn't want someone deleting information. You can see here I can't delete it because I have data. So let's just get this data out. And you can see here we deleted everything. Let's just go back. We don't want to change the changes. So we're going to go back to these customers. We don't want that information. So you can see now we have the information, again, blanked out. So let's look at how we created one of these. Let's create, again, one with some information. So we're going to go to our field here. We're going to give it a screen name. This is going to be, again, we're going to call this the, uh, the demo field. Let's say demo color. And again, we're just going to put some stuff in. OK, and we're going to do a text. And let's say we're going to give it a length of, let's just put 10. But here now we're going to add valid values. So we're going to say red. white and blue. So by doing this, I'm going to actually give it some values now. So you can see that, again, I have the demo color. You can see the prompt down here. This is the field for the color. And here, since I created that, I would choose my corresponding color. <laughs> we can also go into this field. And we can force the case. We can also make it a required field if we wanted to. And if it's a number, we can go ahead and make it numeric. So let's go ahead and make this a, a numeric field. So here we're going to give it a length. And then here we can actually set our numeric values. So we want to go, say, two decimal places. Again, we could put valid values if we want. But on this one, since it's numeric, we don't have that option because we're entering a numeric field. So we're just going to go ahead and click OK. And it's going to not be updated. So we can't get rid of this first. We can't update that. And now we can go ahead and update that, because we went from a text to an amount. So here, you can see, so if we put in 1,500, again, we have our data field. <laughs> so this is a nice little concept that we have in the FACS software. What it allows us to do is to create four of these for each one. So you can actually create these if you want. Again, this is being controlled with securities. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. You can also see here that um, if we have them in the business, in the uh, customer, we can also have them in the vendor. Let's exit this one right here. Let's go back into facts. So we can go to our accounts payable, our file maintenance, and then our vendor file maintenance. We can see we have the same. So we can go here and we can look 
at our user defined field so we can actually generate the same. The only thing is we have to just have a field open at and we can see the same information. So we can go here into our user defined field. You can do your screen label, your prompt, your tooltip, and again we have a text, a date, or a numeric corresponding numeric mask if it's numbers and values if we want. We can also see that we have that in the inventory control file maintenance. So if we go there and we go to item file maintenance, again let's just select an item and we have our same thing. We have our user defined fields and you can see they work the same way. So in this case we have a minimum buy quantity. We have our prompt our tooltip, again our type of field, and our value. So very simple, as long as we have security, we can go in, we can click on here, <laughs> we can create a uh, screen label, so I'm going to call this the uh, <laughs> demo, we can put a prompt, we can give it a tooltip, Again, we can determine if it's a text, a date, or a numeric. Let's do a text. Let's uh, give it a length. <laughs> Let me give it a length of 10. We can force case, which means we have to enter exactly the way it is. We can left or right justify. We can add valid values. So in this case, we're going to do our same thing. We're going to say um, red white, blue. We're going to click OK. And again, we instantly have the field. And you can see how we justified it to the right. So we would normally want to use that for numbers. Let's just go back in, configure that. Let's just switch that to the left. And again, you'll see automatically updating the data that's in the field. So when we go in, we'll prompt that out. We can also go into that field. We can uh, have it just text. We can make nothing valid. Let's say we're going to make this uh, 20, 25. Again, let's just delete that data there. So now we just have a free form text. And again, you can see the tool prompt, demo field, and at the bottom here, the other prompts we have. We can do a date. So here we want to say um, to enter the and here we're going to go ahead and enter our date field. And again, by default, this is grayed out because it's a date field. There's no reason to set it. So here we can say, again, and we have our field. We can do a numeric field. And then here, let's just say uh, number of cases, enter the number of cases, and again, we're going to do this as a numeric. We can set the length, uh, let's make this 15. We can make it a required field if we wanted to, and let's set it to um, zero decimal places. And 
here. We set for 15, so we can enter a pretty big amount, a number here, and we would be OK. So that concludes our webinar today. Um, today we discussed in Enforced Facts the concept of user-defined fields. These user-defined fields are in the item, they're in the customer and the vendor. These user-defined fields, once created, again, we can create information. We can have a text field, which allows us to free form whatever we want to enter. We can have a text field that requires certain types of entries, like you saw here, a yes, no, um, or choose between a drop-down list. We can do that. We can also set a date. We can also set a number field. These are nice because, again, they have a lot of flexibility into the system. This creates unique for our business, certain things that's required. And then these fields could be added throughout facts. We can add these on any of our reports. We can add them within the documents and so on. So again, it allows a lot more flexibility, best practice for the software. So once again, that concludes our webinar today. This has been um, using in for facts and we talked about the user-defined fields. We're going to have this available on our website. This webinar is being recorded. You can visit us at www.mitchellgroup.com. And once again, we thank you for your time.